We're going to see the flower clock today. We didn't get up until, well, I'm not even going to tell you what time we got up. <laughs> but um, the castle that we went to is just right over here. And we're gonna, we got to walk past to get to the flower clock. But we there's like a little viewing point and it says, I love my princess. And it's super cute. And then the, the rocks are just really pretty and stuff. And then there's the ships and it's cloudy, but yeah, I'm getting used to it. It's still pretty. Anyway, I just wanted to show you the princess part because that's cute. This pathway is very pretty too. There's a giant beach down there. I don't know if you can see it. And it's got banana boats and a jet ski pulling the banana boats. They're not going very far, very fast, but it's kind of cool. What are you guys doing? I don't know what they're doing. There's a stormtrooper right there. Just walking around. That's pretty interesting. We're assuming he wants money. We were gonna get pictures, but we don't really feel like giving him money, so we didn't ask for pictures. <laughs> so Venia's pretty famous for this flower clock, which we uh, had asked for directions to, but we found it. So there's like the clock, and then there's like flowers, you know, in front of it. It's just a really pretty little garden area. We're kind of avoiding the giant throng of tourists over there. But apparently, like, the time is accurate. I'm not sure what the time is at it the moment. Is. But Robin confirmed it. It just is. She or she just said it is. My English is terrible. Um, but it's pretty. And then it's beside, like, this giant intersection, which I think may come out of another town. I, I don't know. I don't know anything about the geography location stuff here. I'm just going to give up talking. There are some legit like glass portals in this building. That's pretty freaking sweet. So we came to see the Moai that's in Vina and we're just, Lindsay like literally lives like right around the corner like a couple blocks down and we're just walking along and all of a sudden, here it is. So this, this is a Moai. So this, this is a uh, Moai del Ahu one, I don't even know how to say that, from Rapa Nui which is Easter Island and it's not nearly as big as I thought it would be. Hey guys, just thought I'd show you how we uh, work the stove because as far as I can tell there's no pilot light on it, right? So uh, you gotta grab the matches. It's exciting from here on. I'll put you on top of the pot. And um, you turn the burner on and you can hear the gas and then you got a light match. And then you gotta light the gas. And hope that in the process you don't burn yourself. And then we gotta turn the burner. You can't even like control how high the burner is, really. It doesn't really make a difference. End of the night. My hair's a mess, please just don't worry about it, I'm sorry. Um we had a pretty quiet afternoon after we got home from the flower clock. I, um, what did I do? I checked Facebook and then I made dinner, which I cooked up the steak that I bought the other day at the grocery store, which is where you normally buy steak, I guess. <laughs> Duh. Anyway, um, Robin's watching Jimmy Fallon out there and she, she laughs, which is kind of funny. I don't know if you guys heard that, but it's just like random laughter. But, um, yeah, I cooked dinner and then I came in here and organized my shelves, which are beautiful. Check this out. I've got like all my bathroom stuff, my cords, my bigger electrical stuff, so then gifts for the family, which you guys can't look at because my family watches these. Um, and then I did laundry because we bought laundry soap, so I tried doing laundry by hand and it's hanging out. So oh, and I washed the hanging rack down so we could hang laundry on it. So we'll see how that turns out tomorrow. And then I Skype my friend Allison, and now I am watching the Shea Tarts, and I ate two pieces of bread, and I bought, I found these chips today, which taste just like home, which is nice. So that's what I'm doing. Pretty quiet evening, I'm gonna go to bed, get up, study some Spanish, go to class, do the, you know, do the week thing, weekend's over. Yeah, I'm sleepy, so. <sighs> Good night. 
Okay, so we have a gift for you. You have your own pot plans. Oh, <laughs> I can't believe you guys. This is so nice. And then we've got something little from each of our countries to give you as well. So this is a tea towel with all the New Zealand slang and sayings oh, on it. Oh, this is so beautiful. There's a bottle opener keychain. Oh. These are erasers in Canadian currency. Oh. So we hope you like it. We knew you loved the pens. <laughs> yes, because I love colors. I love <laughs> these cabinets with color. I love colors. Yeah. I have lost my childish whatever. I don't background. think I could ever <laughs> lose that either. So beautiful. This, this is so nice, guys. Thank you so very much. So we're on our way to a meeting for Robin's internship. And uh, we're all going. It's an adventure. And Elena's like, you have to stop and look at the statue because apparently it always looks like it's in movement no matter what angle you do it from, which is actually kind of true. I'm kind of impressed. But uh, there's no like stagnant point. And so I have no idea what this building is. What is this building? This is the uh, culture house of Vina. Oh, and the cool. Mayan library too. Mayan library? Uh-huh. Robin and I are walking around with our teacher Elena and she's giving us some city history but we just walked past this tree and it's got like massive pine cones that grow out like right from the tree the whole thing's a pine cone basically it's so cool and apparently they can get like really really big it's the national tree of Chile so Araucaria I can't say that but Araucaria Araucaria <laughs> that's a long word um anyway it's really cool and we've learned a lot today I feel like not so much about Spanish but about the city. Those pants are really cool. And everybody wears these pants and we keep commenting on them and they're super cool. They're like Aladdin pants. ¿Dónde compró eso, perdón? So there's water drops. They're about to push this kid in. She just falls over. This looks like so much fun. I'm definitely coming back Swimming here. without being in the water or something like that. We call them zorbs. See the skin looks new? Yeah, the snow, the trees this, up there is fine this is, but... This is just... He needs to get rid of this. He's shedding. Uh -huh. Okay. Apparently the tree is shedding, but... I not finish the book, so I was kind of I don't even read at night anymore, I just watch Netflix. So these, this is a honey shop, and these are like straws of different styles of honey. Like orange honey, and fruit honey, and I don't even know what the rest of them are. But you can just, you can just get like one straw of honey, and I think that's, that's pretty awesome. So... We went up, we went up the road and it turns out that apparently the road has been cut off. Lindsay's waving. Hi. Um, so we have to turn around and go back and go up the other way, I guess. I don't know. But we're going we're gonna to find this house and we're going we're gonna to tell you about it. Okay, so this was the house that I was telling you about, but now it got destroyed by an earthquake that was here. Hi, Lindsay. <laughs> um, and you can't go in anymore. And after the guy died, it was an art school, but now it's damaged and dangerous. And no, so no, 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 no. It, it, it became an art school after the guy passed away and it become a, a property of the city. Okay. So it's got lions and stuff. It's really pretty. <laughs> you 